capitalism versus communism and versus socialism and whatnot, right? I hear these little, or read these little discussions all over the YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, wherever else, right? Which system is best? Which system is superior? Which system should be implemented in the purest form or whatever? It seems that they may not be saying that exactly, but it seems that many people seem to want to either go all the way capitalist or all the way communist or all the way socialist. I'm like, well, why be so fucking absolutist about it? Because what people have to understand that all economic systems are just tools. Tools can be used or misused. It's all about how you handle it or manage it. Manage it. A lot of people they think that if we just go straight to communism, it's going to be all it's going to be great. There's this is going to be awesome. I'm not saying they're saying it's going to be a utopia. I'm not saying that, but they think that just that it's automatically just going to fix a whole lot of issues that are plaguing capitalism. And I mean, I really don't know if it is, but the thing is, what people have to also understand is people are inherently flawed. I'm flawed. I make mistakes. I do things I shouldn't do or do things by accident. Other people do as well. There's no such thing as the perfect person in, in that sense. So because these systems are reliant on human interaction, the systems are inherently flawed because they're operated by a flawed um, by a flawed entity or people. So it doesn't matter how good the system might be in practice or in theory or whatever. The system itself is going to be inherently flawed no matter what you go with. Because people are flawed and people are clever, sneaky little tricksters or whatever. And if they can find out a way to game the system no matter what the economic system is, they'll do it. Even if there are laws in place, even there are rules in place. I mean, corruption, that's a big fucking problem. You pay somebody or you give them enough, you know, whatever stuff and they'll look the other way. Maybe they're in a position to where they can't really be held held accountable, or the chance of them being found out found out is really not there. And so it happens a lot, more so, more so. So my solution is, since all economic systems are flawed anyway, why not just take the best aspects of all particular systems? It doesn't have to necessarily be equal. We could take some of this, some of that, put it together in a in a compatible way. We can do that. And just move forward from there. You know, I mean, I mean, to me, so far, social democracy that has strong social safety net and strong regulations to protect people and other businesses from each other, um, you know, seems to be the most sensible, most realistic way. Uh, why somebody wants to go full blown. Uh, you know, tanky or Stalinist, whatever. I don't, I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> since I'm, I, I'm against the idea of death penalty anyway, and it seems like some people, not not all, but some people on the far far left, want to go the full communist route. Say, you know, defending Stalin and shit. I'm like, ooh, I don't know if I'll defend someone who's just gonna like just kill its political enemies or kill pe people who question his authority and shit like that. Oh, it's not good. Because obviously he knows how everything, and if you question him, you're, you you hate the system, and you got to be destroyed. No, this is just fucked up. Um, that doesn't mean I like what's going on now with uh, the so-called system the United States has right now. Right now, the system that favors people or entities that are way too fucking rich, got way too much power, way too much influence, that shit needs to be kept in check. There are systems that can keep things in balance. Like, in, like, you know, the government has checks and balances. We can do the same thing for the economy. It's just a matter of the public will and the political will to get this shit done. You know, I, I'll always say I'm a, I'm a mixed economy kind of person. I just want to go with what has been shown to work the best. You know, and I'm open to new ideas. I'm open to experimentation. I'm open to looking to see... Hey, is this new idea that came out? Hey, let's look at it. Let's look into it. Let's just check it out. Maybe even run some some test pilots, some test programs. See how it plays out in the real world. Because theory, you know, 
is one thing, right? Like, for example, the people who are on the economic economic right wing, typically, um, therefore, they, they, they promote, a lot of them still promote the idea of, hey, we cut taxes for rich, cut taxes for corporations, cut government spending, cut government programs. It's going to somehow um, unleash a torrent of economic growth. And when, of course, that's been shown not the case, look at Kansas. I mean, I bring Kansas up to people who are like that, and, man, they lose their shit. Like, dude, no. <laughs> like, your, your, your economic, that economic theory is not the end-all, be-all. All right, so there, there's plenty of hinky shit going on on all sides. I don't know what it is with people. It seems like maybe, maybe it's just my American perspective. I don't know. That seems that people want to implement, like, the worst or seemingly worst aspects of each system. Because they, they, think, they think the theory is going to work out. Because the thing is, theory versus reality. Reality is always going to win. Now, sometimes theory theory lines up with reality. But no matter what, the reality of the situation is always going to fucking win. And you got to take into account that all systems are inherently flawed. All economic systems. Okay? And... Because of that, you have to understand like what what can happen, the possibilities. And um, I find if people take that more kind of sort of mindset, a lot of things become clear. A lot of things begin to make sense. I mean, there's no such thing as the perfect economic system. Now, I'm not saying communists say that they're claiming to have the perfect system, but it seems to be like this is a reactionary um, impulse. To, to totally get away from anything that resembles capitalism whatsoever, you know, and I, and I, I understand what I understand that because capitalism, the way it's being operated in the United States, has led us down to where half the country is pretty much broke or a paycheck or two away from being destitute, while those at the very very top, you know, they're they're living it up there. They're, they're living like um, <laughs> like kings and queens, pretty much. So yeah, it's it's all about balance. Checks and system checks and balances that are incorporated into each system to where the public has a say, the private sector has a say. Um, you know, there's openness, transparency, things like that to minimize the chance of an economic system favoring a group of people, like way at the top or shit like that. I mean, that's all I'm saying. So, based on all the things that I've said, you know, if you have anything to add or any questions, comments, concerns. Just, you know, let me know in the comment section below. Even if you're a moderate right-winger, or even if you're a far right-winger, you know, um, or you could be could be identified as, you know, I'll still talk to you. I ain't gonna bite you. I, I don't bite. Not hard. <laughs> I know. Old joke. But anywho, that wraps it up, and I'll see you guys around.